Hey there, ladies and gents. It is time for your favorite Donna's content creator, the only one who shows his handsome face on camera. Now, I'm just kidding, but I know you love my face. You better love my face. If you don't love my face, I'll kill you. Anyway, um, you guys saw this build on stream earlier, and many of you were like, oh, what's this sword build, you know? Are you going to show it to us? Yes, I am going to give you the new and improved Revenant sword build, this one comes with some very important features. I like it a lot. And you, indeed, might like it just as much. So I'm going to show you how to build it. It has a bit more defense than you might expect, but it has more than enough offense to make up for that. So, Voidbane, which is your Thraxa sword. Nine lives, Berserker Cell. Now you might be thinking, whoa, 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 macho man who hates nine lives using nine lives? You'll see the power of this in a while. I'll explain it. Special Avenging Overdrive. Okay. Recursive Hilt will be your mod. Now, you can substitute for Mending Blade Core, but I see literally no point. You can also use Keen Edge, but honestly, Recursive Hilt is, for me, the best. Uh, some people do use Dynamic Blade Core, but I don't combo enough, and I'll tell you why. Um, the main reason I do not use the... Um, uh, what do you call it? dynamic blade cores because you don't want to get caught up mid combo especially when you're trying to survive with this your bond will be verge of the night which is shroud sword okay and this gives you that 50 percent damage increase when you drain your hitch points all the way which is cool also my wife is in the background looking at chairs say hi hi <laughs> <laughs> all right revenant will be your omnicell obviously you know deals fantastic damage you know makes you feel cool and this is how you become an emo sword wielding um, anime villain like me. Skarn's Defiance will be your lantern. Etheric Attunement Cell. Now you might be thinking, wait, why not Omni Surge? Okay. Etheric Attunement works all the time. So sometimes if you don't, aren't triggering your ult, you're not hampered by the fact that you're not triggering your ult while Revenant's going, and you can still shield up. So Etheric Attunement does way better. Um, time Weave Helmet with a Pulse Cell here. Pre uh, Mantle of Thorns with Etheric Attunement. Might of Stone with Nine Lives and Chrono Treads with a Cunning Cell. Okay, I'm going to explain this build step by step because this one is a bit different to what you've seen. And in fact, the Chainblade build will be upgraded to have this as well. Etheric Attunement, Recharge Rate of Lantern. Very important. Cunning, 10% critical strike chance, 30% critical strike damage. This pairs well with your Shroud uh, weapon. Nine lives. Okay, now this is the weird one. The 20% chance to have incoming damage is a nice perk, but... What you really want is that once, much like with the Tragic Echo, but instead of the Tragic Echo's thing where it revives you as a Shadow Clone and then you die anyway and use up a stim, this thing can save your butt in escalations, whereby the first time you'd be knocked out, you stay up, you heal for 400, and become empowered for 10 seconds. If Revenant is active when you die, it, you will not, unfortunately, heal for the 400, but you will stay up, which can prevent you from utilizing a stim. All right. This is if you really want to go hardcore for that You're playing solo. You know, you just want an extra life. This is what it's for. Okay. Um, oops, sorry, the wrong song played there. There we go. Back to the back to the same track. Now, Predator is the next important cell here. Um, you're generally playing almost flawless with this, so Predator is your bread and butter. Okay. This is this is very good for you. Pulse. Every fifth hit with your weapon is a critical strike. It's not the greatest, but I preferred this over Galvanized for the sword because I just found it more useful. If you want, you can actually put in Galvanized, but I find Pulse to be a better fit for this style. Maybe it's just me. Berserker, you only go plus three. Why? Because you want your second tendril attack to have at least... Um, because if you don't use this, right, your first tendril attack is five, and the second one's two tendrils. I find that very, very low. So I prefer to use Berserker with only plus three, because then your first tendril attack is five, and your second one is four, which means that your tendrils are doing more damage, and you can survive on the last 50 hit points, guaranteed to trigger the Shroud um, UE. All right? So that's why Berserker is plus three. Fortress only plus three, because if you take it up to plus six, all right, the only benefit is 45 more health shield times three which is which ends up being only 135 more okay you don't really need that so plus three fortress is more than enough okay to give you a little extra shielding to survive all right now i'm sure you guys want to see this build in action you just you just don't want to hear me talk about it right so we're gonna go in there right now oh sorry i was i didn't realize i was using my youtube overlay there we go now it's cleaner okay 
I'm gonna go straight in now to Ulrich's Peak, level 69 area. Now remember, for combat, you only wanna be three or four levels ahead, but with this one, we'll go to the 69 and I'll show you its prowess, okay? Don't try this at home, stick to the three to four levels above you, and last but not least, if you wanna support my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right now, okay? You can also send a tip via the link in the description of the video. You can send super thanks on YouTube or become a channel member. Now, um, normally I'll also say if you don't want to see the combat showcase, don't see it, but I highly recommend you do. And the reason why is not just to stare at my handsome face, you know, <laughs> or to hear my lovely wife's Irish accent. Right, honey? Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, but the main reason why <laughs> you want to stick around for the combat <laughs> showcase is because I'm going to show you how to actually use this in combat. It's got a slightly different playstyle. Now, there are people out there who will just pretend to show you a test and stuff like that, then you realize they're faking you out because there's a lot of video editing. No, my videos might be longer and they might be unedited, but the purpose is to show you how this functions in real combat. Okay, so you notice we have not changed anything. We have a level one sword. Okay, you can see very clearly it's level one. Okay, we're gonna go in against this uh, Boreas and the first thing you'll do if it's a big, if it's a big mob, you want to start off immediately with your um, attack. But if it's a smaller mob, you don't have to do that. Okay, just remember that. Now, even if it's in its ice form, hit it with the tentacles. Then collect everything. All right. Now your main goal here is to get in close to the Boreas and utilize all your damage to break that ice off. Okay. You want to stick to using light attacks mostly, unless it's after the Behemoth has attacked. Why? Because if you do not dodge, you will die. Playing this flawlessly means dodging everything. That's okay though. What you also want to do is activate your special once ready, and that'll help you even further. Now, every time your tentacles are ready, okay, unleash your hentai tentacle jutsu, all right, on the enemy, and just go ham. And every time it's ready, you just get a huge burst of damage. You see, with with all this, the Boris is already dead, all right? It doesn't matter that it's above your level. You will just heal up after Revenant State ends, okay? Plain and simple, like that. Okay, then you just choose your next target. So your next target is going to be a Drasky boy. So you head over there. And your shields are more than sufficient. Again, 9 lives also helps you drastically reduce a lot of problems. Your biggest weakness is fire. I'm sure you saw it on my stream when I was... Uh, pun intended, I guess. Playing with fire, but... Um, you will basically die off if you don't if you don't do things well okay so on a long behemoth start off with your um start off with your revenant and you know get ready to dodge okay keep utilizing light attacks but if you manage to knock it down take full advantage of that go ham this is what i would do okay i would go full ham right now And I will use the Avenging Overdrive to counter continuously. Sometimes you may take a hit, and that's okay. Now, while Revenant is restoring, don't get trigger happy and then, like, push it off. Make sure you had full health before unleashing it again. Why? You, you, want, to, you want to take advantage of doing the Revenant attacks twice. Okay, don't, don't miss out on that by being stupid. Now, after it's attacked, it's the perfect time to... Hit it with them hentai tentacles, okay? See, it's dead already. So you've just killed two creatures in just literally three minutes, and they're way above your level. You can replicate this process as many times as you want, okay? So I hope you enjoy this uh, amazing Revenant Sword build. It is very strong. Thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, you want to see me have fantastic floofy hair, all right? Make sure you... <laughs> Okay, uh, drop a tip via the link in the description of the video. You can become a channel member or send super thanks on YouTube. And here's our big, 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 big thank you to Puni Puni, only fan level, JP Best, prestige level, Jazak NFG, prestige level, Forgot the Forgotten, prestige level. Thank you very much for being on the throne of honor. And also, thank you to October's top supporters, Bravo7910, Crampy D, Johnny Nara, FNX Killer43, Zabi Uzumaki, Alcorn0511, Alien Frost80, Casmantum, a lovely girl who's here with me, Zach NFG, Starbuzz, Lucifer Avantau X, Puni Puni, Rogue Assassin, Arshaw's Guardsy, Lucas Graham, and Boxhead soon to be added. Okay, thank you all very much, and I'll catch you all on the next one. See you later.
love me. <laughs>